Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, good evening, I don't know, middle of the night, whatever time it is where you are, let me know in the comments. I am doing a foundation first impression today, I'm so excited. This is a little bit of a different one for me because it's not like a liquid foundation, which you know, liquids are my go-to, but I'm always up to try something new. So we will be doing our full wear test over about 12 hours today as per normal. We'll prime half of our face to see how you know, it performs on top of primer or without. And I'll just let you guys know all of the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. And it's a good time to do a foundation first impression because I have so many pimples right now. Well, not so many, sorry. But you know, for me, I've got like this enormous one. I've got this enormous one. I've got one right in between my eyebrows, which is slowly starting to go away. My other skin concerns, I have a little bit of redness. It's not terrible, you know, a little bit of redness. My skin is typically normal, sometimes a little bit dry or dehydrated, but at the moment, yeah, it's pretty normal. It can get a little bit oily throughout the T-zone throughout the day these days, which is random. Like the older I get, the more oily my T-zone gets by the end of the day. It's just something I've noticed, especially after pregnancy. So I'm not sure if pregnancy you know, and giving birth had anything to do with that, like hormones and everything maybe. But yes, I am excited. The foundation we are going to be using today is by She Glam and they have kindly sponsored today's video. So thank you so much, She Glam. I've worked with them one other time and I loved, loved, loved filming that video. They sent me a whole lot of stuff just to try out and use in like a makeup look. And a lot of those makeup products have turned into staples. Oh, I'm a bit nasally. Sorry, I've got a bit of hay fever right now. It's really irritating. Yeah, go check out that video if you're looking for some really, really affordable makeup to try. They're liquid blushes and liquid contours, bronzers, lip products the lip oils are incredible like they've got so so many amazing products genuinely they're genuinely products that i use a lot and would purchase a hundred times over with my own money so go check them out the link will be in the down bar like i said but today we're focusing purely on what's in this little briefcase thing <laughs> how cute's that this is the pr send up i love it and inside we can open it up and we have all of these foundation powders. So this is what we're gonna try. I'm kind of nervous, but very excited. I have tried a couple of foundation powders on my channel in the past, ones that went viral on TikTok. So I'm hoping that there's similar kind of vibes to that. And if you don't know what I mean, if you haven't seen the TikToks, there's all these powder foundations, which, you know, go on like full coverage and look incredible and just, and they just look so cool, so. They just sent me a few shades that they thought could match me. So I might swatch them for you as well. So if you're a similar skin tone to me, you might be able to like figure out what shade you are. Before I swatch them, I just want to read a little bit about the foundation to you. It's got shea butter in it, vitamin A, vitamin D, jojoba oil. You know, jojoba oil, it's been one of my favorite ingredients since the start of my YouTube channel. It was one of the first like face oils I ever used. I love jojoba oil on the skin. It is so moisturizing. It maintains the skin's moisture, does not easily oxidize. So that gives me hope because you know, sometimes when you think of a powder foundation, I'm like, is that just gonna dry me out and look really dry and cakey? I don't know, we're gonna see. I've not tried these, I've not swatched these. This is first impression, you guys. There's also shea butter in here, which replenishes lipids and moisturizes the skin. It says it's high coverage. We're gonna put that to the test. Soft focus, it says it's a very fine powder that won't fall out during application, enhances your skin, conceals pores, and creates a matte soft focus makeup look. And this one's really cool, it is talc free. It's got some different unique ingredients which provide long lasting oil control wear while maintaining your skin's original moisture. It literally sounds amazing. Wash and moisturize your face before applying the foundation. I actually have not moisturized, so let me do that quickly while we do the swatches. So many of you guys picked up some of the products I talked about last time as well from that past She Glam video, so I'd love to know what you got and let me know if you like it. We are moisturized, but yeah, I'm gonna let that soak in. Let's do some swatches. So these are some of the paler shades, as you can probably tell. Pretty sure this looks like the palest one. It is pretty fair, which is cool because sometimes the lightest, you know, shades and foundation are not very light. This is the foundation I was talking about last time. I'm just trying to see if this foundation's on their website yet, but I can't see it because I wanted to see like the full shade range. But if we ever look at the foundation balm, they do look like they've got a really good variation of skin tones there. So hopefully this foundation is the same. I will link it below, but yeah, I can't see that right now. So how does this work? Okay, 
it's got a puff underneath so here's how it looks i'll show you that in more detail soon for now i might just use my finger it does have a mirror here too it's hard to see you'll be able to see better when i show you a darker shade props but the packaging is nice it's just like a nude with gold accents it looks classy it's not too heavy but it's also not like cheap feeling like it feels like nice quality so i'm just going to use my finger so this is the shade linen let's not look at my elbow because there's bad tan on my elbow but that is the shade linen this is buttercream that's how it looks in the pan and that is buttercream right there on my arm i feel like that would be me with you know no fake tan on next up we have fair here is fair it's got slightly more pinky kind of undertones and then we have chantilly which is kind of like peachy peachy undertones looks like this in the pan this one's a little bit lighter again but this is like another peachy kind of undertone and it is called porcelain and then we have bamboo which kind of looks like a good color for me yeah that's bamboo i mean with fake tan on don't look at my elbow with fake tan on yeah i feel like that's pretty good now let's move on to the next set of colors that you know could be my match this next one is shell this one actually looks decent that's shell that could be a good one for today actually next up we have acorn that's acorn right there that's actually not bad with the fake tan either next up is nude nude has slightly peachier undertones again pretty good with the tan i can't tell what color i'm gonna be next we have peach this one definitely has kind of peachier undertones as well and is a little bit darker i hope the swatches are helpful i mean they're all kind of blending into my tan at the moment i mean that's not a bad thing but you can kind of see the undertones right there next up we have warm vanilla pinkier undertones and that's the color right there I move my arm you can kind of see oh it definitely looks quite flawless doesn't it compared to the rest of my arm and the final shade that i have with me currently i don't have anything darker to show you this one is called sand that's how it looks on my arm a bit more golden undertones and yeah that's how it looks in the pan i'm just swatching a couple on my chest to try and figure out which one i'm gonna be i feel like i might be at the shade bamboo i know it looks very yellow right now but I feel like that matches well to my neck and my chest area. The coverage I can already tell is good. <laughs> Look at that. So there are these special instructions to use this puff. Dip this side into the powder and apply it. And then it says use this side here like with the little ribbon to pick up powder and gently apply it to your face to touch up so i think it's just like a lighter coverage with this puffier side before we begin i'm going to pop on some of my birthday skin primer by she glam i really like this do not need much literally like just a little amount like this we're just going to do half of my face and the reason we're going to do half is so we can see if there's any difference in the way it looks on both sides of my face so i'm going to kind of concentrate this where i get some like texture and pores it also says to apply any liquidy cream products before application so i'm thinking i should probably use my concealer now let's do this oh my gosh it looks really 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 pigmented which side should we do first maybe the unprimed side i don't really know like i'm not super familiar with this type of product so i'm just going to start by tapping it on whoa that's so matte you guys know i prefer a dewy finish but in a normal day if i was to wear something like this if i like this I would just set it with heaps of dewy setting spray to bring some glow back. For today I won't do that because I just want to see how it wears with no setting spray. And instead I'll probably just pop on lots of highlighter. <laughs> so I'm just kind of tapping. I don't know, it seems to be working well. You can kind of see I've got still quite a bit of redness because I didn't use a whole lot of concealer because I still wanted just to see the coverage from this powder. But yeah, it's very high coverage. I know it feels very lightweight. I didn't think it would. I thought it would feel quite heavy and drying on the skin. And I mean, so far, I haven't had it on for long, but it feels very, very light. Will it cover the breakouts is the question. I'm not sure it will. Maybe I should have put on some concealer first and then put this on top. Because it's not really like sticking to where the breakouts are, if that makes sense. Let's do the nose, ready? Whoa, it's so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of all the viral ones I've been seeing all over TikTok. I bet I'll be seeing this all over TikTok soon too. 
I'm just going to do half of my face so you can see how it looks. I'm just adding a little bit more over where I've got some redness. But it covers most of it pretty well. It's not perfectly covered my redness. So if you had a lot more redness than me, maybe you would just use like a colour correcting primer or a little bit of concealer or something like that. Just to fade it a little bit and then go in with this product. But like on the areas I have no redness, it's incredible coverage actually i like the amount of redness that's showing through because you guys know i keep saying this lately but i do like when you can see a little bit of my redness it just looks a little bit more natural a little bit less harsh stops you know everything from looking too cakey i'm just looking at the color i think it's very good with my chest almost perfect it might be like half a shade too dark but it's almost the perfect undertone it literally looks like i've got no pores like at all it's just completely covered them it's extremely flattering on that area like if you've got texture pores anything like that it completely blurs them this is no primer no nothing it's just that little bit of moisturizer we put on and let soak in it looks so smooth here's a little bit of a darker lighting so you can see even better I love the way it looks. I wish it was more glowy, but hello, it's a powder. So I'll just make it glowier with other products later. And I'll show you how it looks later. But if you love a matte finish, I mean, you're going to be obsessed with this. Let's do this side. I'm going to stay zoomed in and we do have moisturizer and the birthday skin primer on the side. So let's see how it performs. They recommend to use a primer. I just wanted to see how it would look without one because I know not everyone uses a primer. But let's see. Oh my gosh. Really good into my nose. I pierced my nose when I was like 16. I pierced both sides of my nose myself, yes. <laughs> so whenever I just use powder, I have to like push it into like where the hole was because it's like all, I don't know, weird. I'm just using what's left on my sponge this time to do my lids. And look at the coverage still. It's very good. Let's do a forehead. I don't see why you couldn't use this with a fluffy brush as well to set foundation if you loved like a full coverage because it feels so lightweight it doesn't feel heavy I think you could still yeah get away with it and then let's do down at the bottom here by the way my air is red because I had to repiss <laughs> this <laughs> and uh yeah it's a bit sore I'm gonna go in with a huge powder brush and just dust some down my neck because my neck's always so pale the coverage is still so good with a powder brush honestly i do feel like i'm gonna end up using this as a setting powder on top of liquid foundations like just to add coverage and set my foundations because it feels so comfortable i can't even feel it which usually at powder foundations i feel like they feel really like drying and just like weird whereas this one doesn't let's fact check their claims soft smooth and lightweight full coverage finish yes 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 and yes it says oil control we will see that throughout the day makes your skin appear silky smooth i think so let's do a quick flash test i always do this in my first impressions if you're new here <laughs> i'll put the photos on top of me talking but i think it looks pretty good like doesn't have any weird flashback it looks so smooth so soft looks good so i'm going to go ahead and just pop on some makeup on top of this the time is 10 15 i'm just gonna say 10 i started filming this at 9 30 so we'll say 10 a.m is when we like had it all on so we can see how yeah it wears throughout the day i'll pop in every few hours just so you can get regular updates i always say i like my foundation to look amazing for at least six hours but if it looks amazing for 10 or 12 then hello that's amazing but i think every foundation needs to look good for at least six if it doesn't look good for six like what's the point i'll see you guys soon okay i'm back look how stunning my complexion looks i added bronzer i also put bronzer on my eyelids i did my brows a bit of mascara and nude eyeliner some highlighter some blush and lip liner the lip liner by the way is the she glam shade 4 i'm not sure like what the actual name of the shade is but it's the so lippy lip liner and yeah that's how it looks on my lips it's the most beautiful like cool toned browny mauvey color and then to top it off i have to use my she glam jelly wow i love 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 this so much it's one of my favorite products jelly wow hydrating lip oil this is the berry one I love this. I mean, I barely ever like go through lip oils and stuff like that because you use such a small amount. Once it settles, you'll see I'm like half done. That's a big deal for me. Okay, trust me. I've got so many and I always reach for this one. I feel like the longer that we wear this foundation, the better it's going to look in a way because as our natural oils come through, it's going to make it look even more like settled. It's going to like 
just melt into the skin. I always feel like powders look so good like an hour or two after you apply them like that's like their peak moment. I mean it's only been half an hour but it's already looking so beautiful and it's like looking more like skin you know what I mean? Looking less like makeup more like skin but so flawless. I've not added any more coverage. I'm so impressed let me zoom you all the way in. It's not sitting funny on top of my skin or anything like that like it's not just sitting on top of you know hairs on my face or anything it's really really like settling super nicely so yeah i'm excited to see how it looks in another couple of hours we'll see if it looks even better but already i'm so happy with it oh my god can you imagine how it'll look with setting spray as well like it'll just look unreal you can see the highlighter made such a big difference though i really do prefer that glowy finish so the highlighter on top of it 10 out of 10. Oh my god, I can hear my baby pushing a chair around upstairs on the tiles. It's like... <laughs> like Pingu. <laughs> I can't stop looking. Like, look how smooth in here is. I never use filters on my YouTube videos. Like, it's just wrong to me. This is completely unfiltered. Look how smooth it is over where my pores go. Like, come on. That's so good. His heart's looking over the pimples too. You can still see them a little bit. They don't look terrible. And considering, you know, that they're kind of sticking out from my face, I thought the powder would cling to them more than it is. So I'm happy. Quick little outfit change because we're just about to go out and about. as a family, gonna take the baby to the park and stuff like that. And you know, just wanted to be a little bit more dressed down. But here's how the foundation looks. It's now half past 12. Oh, it's so bright outside, hence squinting sorry about that so this is that two hour mark which i talked about it's like the sweet spot and i mean there's no shine whatsoever like there's no oiliness obviously the shine of the highlighter but my skin is matte there's no grease no oil nothing looks terrible it hasn't faded it looks basically identical to last time it's just looking really pretty because once again all of the powders have just kind of like settled into my natural skin oils and i guess like the moisturizer and all that blah 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 it's just all settled in and it looks really nice so yeah not much to update you on right now i will see you guys in another couple of hours we'll see how it goes hello again so it is now 3 8 p.m what's that three five hours we're almost at that six hour mark and little update here's how it's looking i feel like it's faded ever so slightly over that breakout i can't tell if it's faded or if the breakout's just getting bigger and angrier i feel like other than that it basically looks the exact same the only area that it's removed was when I was eating and obviously a bit of the oil removed it from it just above my lip so I will just touch up those areas because otherwise it looks a bit weird but I'm not going to touch up any of like the rest of my face I'll just want to see how it wears without me doing that so I mean I'm just gonna add a little bit and kind of dab it out there we go all fixed and I'd say the only other area that it's starting to change a tiny bit is just around the nostrils where lots of foundations start to like melt on me I feel like it's starting to it still looks fine but you know it's just like the very beginning of it other than that there's no creasing doesn't look dry yeah a little bit of fading maybe over these breakouts but on the redness on the cheeks it seems to have held up pretty well and i can't really tell the difference between the primed side and unprimed side like i honestly think they look great on both but i definitely think you want to be like well prepped before you use a powder foundation regardless like make sure that your base you know your skin base is nice and smooth no like dry skin or anything like that otherwise because it's a powder it's just going to pick up on it it's just the nature of powders so definitely moisturizing and priming if you do have any dry areas i think will help just with how it looks so yeah i will come back again soon it's 5 p.m I feel like my makeup still looks amazing. I feel like it looks the same as the last update. I'm pretty sure the only thing that's really happened is this is a little bit greasy around the nostrils. It's not terrible though. That's seven hours, so I'm really happy with that. I'm interested to see how the nostrils look in the next update and also like to see if it's faded. I feel like it's faded slightly just around this area. I'm not sure if I've like touched my face or if it's just faded. The side looks pretty good. Definitely impressed already though. I will 100% use this as setting powder as well because it just looks so unbelievably smooth. Like I wouldn't use as much like as I use today obviously. Um, just a lighter dusting. But yeah, I just, oh, I'm so happy. The only thing I feel like that's changed with my makeup is I feel like my bronze is faded. So who knows if that's the bronzer or the foundation powder. Blushes stayed well. 
but yeah, the bronze is a little bit faded. I guess that sometimes happens. Hello guys, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky because I've got more artificial lighting on in my room now. Um, cause it is 7 p.m. Nine hours wear, right here. No touch ups other than there and there like we did. The nostrils kind of look the same, maybe slightly worse, but oh, that's what I was saying. With the artificial lights on, it does make anything on my face look obviously more oily than it is. I feel like it looks like I've got a little bit of oil staying together in between my brows, a little bit, but still nothing I would bother touching up, like it's not even that bad. Yeah, there's a tiny bit, so it's definitely holding up really well. I feel like this is usually the part where like my forehead and all down here would be getting oily but that's totally fine like that amount of oil is like nothing that's fine i don't get super oily well sometimes i do depends either way i'm not gonna touch up now we might touch up later let's just see how we go i probably won't come back again now until that 12 hour mark so like 10 p.m or just after 10 p.m it hasn't faded on the redness it looks kind of the same over the pimples overall i feel like yeah it looks almost the same as when I first applied it. Okay, it is 10 past 10 p.m. So that's 12 hours. Definitely a little bit more oily around the sides of the nose, but still nothing terrible. Like I still feel like my makeup overall looks really good if I touched up my lipstick a little bit. I'm literally about to wash my face, but I've done that thing where we stripped the bed earlier, washed all the sheets and everything, but didn't remake it straight away. And now it's late and I'm like, ugh. Gotta go make the bed. Rookie mistake. There's a little bit of shininess, like extra, just in like this little spot right there. I am going to take the other side of the sponge, which apparently is like a touch up side. It looks like it's, yeah, just more fluffy or something. So it probably just applies less product so you don't go like cakey. Oh my gosh, yeah. Look how matte that is. Can you see that little spot? You can see like the edge. There you go, I'm more glowy than I realized. You can see, just tapping. So perfect for on the go touch ups too. You've actually got somewhere in the compact, you know, mirror, put that in. So it stays all clean and tidy. I feel like it like barely faded here. I did have my headphones on, so it's like faded just here a little bit. And like under my nose, I look like I've wiped it. So we're gonna do the side of the nose, look at that. Really great mattifying powder if you do like to, you know, touch up on the go. Still doesn't look cakey or anything like that. Here's a real close up of my forehead. Close up, close up. If you see this going around, I feel like it's gonna go viral any minute now. I feel like you're gonna see it all over TikTok. So if you see it, then there you go. That's my personal review opinion i definitely think i will continue to use this once again the shade i use today is bamboo and i will have a link down in the down bar and possibly a discount code i don't know last time i got a discount code but hopefully they give me a discount code i'll pop it in the down bar for you as well if you do want to try it it's already so affordable but hey i'm gonna let you guys go thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for supporting it means the world to me and i will catch you guys in my next video bye <laughs>